So this is the 10.1 question number from Hallow Arkins and Hallowarine exercises. The question reads, name the following halides according to the IUPAC system and classify them as alkyl, allyl, benzyl, vinyl or aryl halides. So the question clearly says that there will be a, a, a few molecules given to us and we need to first name them based on the IUPAC system following those rules and then look at the compound and identify if they belong to the given set of halides as mentioned. So let's see the first one. So for the first one, the question given to us is CH3 twice CH, CH, Cl, CH3. Now when such a molecule is given to us, first what we have to do is put down the structure. Now here it says CH3 twice at the left corner. So here this CH3 twice is going to be on a carbon. Now this carbon is CH single bonded CH to the CH I'm going to have a Cl which is in the bracket and then I'm going to have a CH3. This is the open structure for the condensed form given to us in the question. Now, for this molecule, we are going to do the naming. Now, when we do the naming, we are going to follow the rule. So, since we have halogen present over here on the carbon, we are going to start naming from the left-hand side because it says the minute you have a functional group, you are going to give that particular functional group the least count or the lowest numbering. So, if I number from this side, I am going to get 3, and 4. So I've chosen the longest chain and I have numbered in such a way that I'm going to give the substitute the functional group here as the lowest number. If I count from the left hand side what will happen is the substitute and here methyl group will get lowest count and the functional group get the highest count. So we will not do that instead we will count from this side. Now in this case the parent hydrocarbon is butane. It's a four carbon chain. So the parent hydrocarbon is butane. Now the next thing is we have two substituents. One is on position number two we have a chloride chlorine atom and on position number three we have a methyl group. So two chloro and three methyl. All right the, the CH3 group the minute it comes as a prefix it will become methyl but when it goes as a suffix it will become methane. So in this case, it is a sub, it is a prefix, so it's going to be methyl. Now here, when you're trying to name the entire compound, you're going to name based on the alphabetical order of the substituents mentioned here. All right. So here, first we will write two chloro. Then we are going to write three methyl butane. This is the IUPAC naming of the compound. Once you have named all the compounds, always go back and check if you have named everything given in the compound. So that is the IUPAC naming. Now it says classify them in the um, based on the classification given. So here if you notice where the chlorine atom is standing, that is on position number 2. If you check that particular carbon atom, it has one alkyl group here, it has the other alkyl group here. So that particular carbon is bonded to two alkyl groups. Therefore, the nature of that carbon is going to be a secondary, secondary alkyl halide. So we have given the classification for the first one. So the IUPAC naming as well as the classification. All right, now. The second compound is going to be CH3, CH2, CH, CH3, CH, C2, H5, Cl. So this is the compound. Now what we are going to do, you are going to draw the entire structure. So we will start writing CH3, CH2. CH. Now whatever is in the bracket is going to be a branching or a substituent. 
So this is in the bracket. So I'm going to put CH3. Then I'm going to continue the chain that's not in the bracket. Then again, I've got a bracket. So that's going to be C2H5, which is the ethyl group. So it's going to be CH2, CH3. And then to this, I'm going to have a CL. All right. Now, when I'm going to do the numbering for this, I'm going to start from that side where my functional group is going to get the lowest numbering. So if I start numbering from this from the left hand corner, I'm not going to get chlorine, which chlorine atom, which will be with the least number. So I'm going to start with the right hand side to get the longest chain. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So my chain here is a hexane chain. And now I'm going to look at where are the substituents placed. So I have on position number 3 a chloro group and I have on position number 4 methyl group. So it's going to be 3 chloro and 4 methyl. Again when you draw, write the naming you have to write in such a way that it's alphabetical order. So it's going to be 3 chloro 4 methyl hexane. Now again, the question is to classify them. So if you look at where the position of the functional group is, chlorine atom is bonded to a carbon where on one side of that carbon it has an alkyl group. On the other side of the carbon it's got another alkyl group. So a type of a carbon where you have two alkyl groups bonded to that particular carbon, it is called a secondary carbon. So here this compound is also a secondary alkyl halide so this is going to be the nature of the compound now in the next one i'm going to have a third molecule here the third molecule is ch3 ch2 c then brackets I'm going to have CH3 twice, CH2 and I. So now let's draw the structure. So I'm going to get CH3, CH2, C and the, the other groups are in brackets. So I'm going to put them as a branching. Then I have CH2 and I. Alright. Now. I'm going to start numbering in such a way, keeping two things in mind. Functional group should get the least count and I should get the longest chain. So I start from the very first carbon which is bonded to iodide molecule, uh, atom. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. So I have a 4 carbon chain. The compound is butane. Now on position 1, I have an iodo group. And on position 2, I have two methyl group. So here again, I'm going to name based on their alphabetical order itself. Now, if a particular position has two similar groups standing. So for example, here position number 2 has two methyl groups. So in this case, it will be dimethyl. Now when I write dimethyl, di is going to be a prefix to methyl group. And when it's prefixed to the methyl group, we don't consider di or tri or tetra in the alphabetical order. We will only look at the uh, alphabetical order of the substituent or the functional group only. So in that case, iodo will come first. So here we will write 1 iodo. Then on second position you have 2 methyl groups. I am going to repeat the number twice and I will put 2 comma 2 dimethyl butane. That is the naming of the compound. Now I'll go back to the compound and I want to check what is the nature. So what I'm going to do, my functional group is iodide atom. That group is bonded to a carbon in which only one alkyl chain is bonded to it. There's only one alkyl chain. So in that case, because there's only one alkyl chain bonded to the carbon, which is bonded to a functional group, such kind of carbons are such kind of compounds are called as primary primary alkyl halide. That's the nature of this compound. 
all right now next the fourth molecule is ch3 thrice c ch2 ch in brackets br and then you have c6 h5 so now we'll let's draw the molecule so we have ch3 three times that is that is attached to this carbon here so i'm going to put ch3 three times to a carbon and then i will have ch2 ch then to this i'm going to have in bracket br and then i have c6h5 c6h5 is nothing but benzene ring all right so this is the molecule now in this when i'm going to start numbering them i am going to start numbering in such a way that the group is getting the functional group is getting the least count so i'll start from here one two three four so it's a four carbon chain now four carbon chain is i'm going to put this here as butane all right now let's look at the substituents at position number one i have a phenyl ring position number one i also have a bromo group position number three i have two methyl groups let's put them in an order okay so as per alphabetical order b will come first so i'm going to write one bromo then among the methyl group and the phenyl group methyl group comes first in the alphabetical order which is at position number three two methyl groups are there so i'm going to put this as three comma three dimethyl all right and at position number one i also have one phenyl all right so it's one bromo three comma three dimethyl one phenyl butane that is the entire naming of the compound now for this compound let's look at the classification so the group where the functional group is over here the carbon that carbon on one side has a big alkyl group and on the other side it has another r group over here which is an aryl group so anyway that carbon has two sides r groups therefore this carbon is also a secondary halide a secondary alkyl halide all right now next one is question number five the fifth compound for this it is ch3 ch ch3 ch br ch3 that br is in brackets now if i draw this molecule it is ch3 ch for the ch the ch3 is in bracket then ch br and ch3 now this is the compound here so for this again naming is going to be on the side where the functional group gets the least count so it's going to be one two three so I have a four carbon chain. This compound is going to be, the parent hydrocarbon is going to be a butane chain. At position two, I have a bromo compound, bromo group. And at position three, I have a methyl group. So here I'm going to put this in alphabetical order. Two bromo, three methyl butane. All right. Now, if I want to look at the nature of the compound on carbon number two, I am going to have an alkyl group over this side and alkyl group over here. So this compound is also a secondary alkyl halide. Alright, so that's the nature of that compound. Okay, so these are the five compounds. I will, I will make... Uh, the remaining part of the video in the next uh, remaining part of the question in the next video.